to my channel today I'll be talking about designer shoes designer flat shoes in particular I'll be showing you my latest designer purchases and I'll be reviewing them so hopefully this video will be helpful these are popular designer shoes by the way so it will be my Chanel Espadrilles my Gucci Princeton loafers my two new pairs of sneakers my Louis Vuittons and the Fendi sneakers so I would like to cover a few categories which I've written on my phone so I don't forget I'll cover sizing, comfort, price, wear and tear and favourite pairs and which ones I get most compliments on. Um, so if you're interested keep watching and yeah let's get started. So first I'd like to talk about sizing. I will start with my Chanel Espadrilles. I have two pairs of Espadrilles. These are my most recent ones. For reference I'm 37 and a half so I'm between sizes so it, it could be a bit difficult for me to get the right size especially in Chanel Espadrilles they are I would say they're true to size so if you are size 37 I would say take your normal size I'm between sizes so with me it's a bit hard my other pair of Espadrilles are size 37 and they are very small so I can't really wear them. These I got in size 38. They are slightly big so what I did is I bought these silicone things to put inside my shoes so they're not too big. You can also put an insole, that's also an option but I don't mind these um, so yeah I decided to put these little silicone things inside the shoes and they fit perfectly. Next pair of shoes are these Gucci Prince Down loafers. These I have in size 38. Again, I went a size up, not a size up, half a size up. However, I have noticed that with the furry ones, um, the ones that have fur hair, um, I would personally go a full size up because <laughs> I'm 37 and a half, so I'll go a full size up and I'll get them in 38 and a half. Next pair will be my Fendi sneakers and these I absolutely love. I got these in size 38. I would say actually that they run slightly big but I have learned from before because I had another pair like I think it was like two years ago I bought my first pair of um, Fendi sneakers and they were so uncomfortable so basically I went straight them on in store so that they run big I ordered them online in a smaller size and I regretted not getting them in a bigger size I think I bought 37 online and when they arrived they fit perfectly I was really happy with them once I started walking with them outside they were so uncomfortable because they're leather. I could not wear them. I was covered in blisters. It was disgusting. And I got rid of the shoes. I really, really loved the shoes. They were so beautiful. If I find a picture, I will try and insert a picture so you can see which ones I'm talking about. I don't know, guys, if you remember them. So I've learned my lesson. And for my new pair of uh, Fendi shoes, I decided to go half a size up. Don't be scared if the shoes are big at first when you try them on at home once you start wearing them out they'll be fine but to be honest it's always better for you to be on the safe side and get shoes that are slightly big instead of shoes that are small and you can't wear you can always put an insole if they're big um, or thicker socks so yeah then the last pair I want to talk about are these bad boys. These are my latest addition to my designer shoe collection and these are the Louis Vuitton sneakers. These are called the Louis Vuitton front row sneakers. I got these in size 37 and a half as far as I remember. Yeah, size 37 and a half. And again with these initially they were slightly big and my foot was coming out. But once you start wearing them they are fine so for these i would suggest you go with your normal size because uh, they run very true to size all right next i want to talk about comfort and i will start should i start with the most comfortable ones because i'm already holding them these are the most comfortable flat designer shoes that i currently own Oh my god, these are amazing. It feels like you're walking on clouds. Like seriously, I don't want to take these off. I've been wearing them non-stop since I got them. Um, 
they they're just amazing like i don't know how they're made but inside it feels like you're stepping on clouds like seriously the back is nicely padded uh, the insides like this bit here like the tongue i don't know how, how do you call this in english i can't remember now anyway like this bit here <laughs> <laughs> it's so comfortable as well and yeah they're just uh, the most comfortable shoes I highly recommend these they are made for walking so as I mentioned I'll start from the most comfortable ones to the least comfortable ones so uh, second place would be for the uh, Gucci Prince down loafers these are very very comfortable as well I've had these for the longest time out of all the shoes that I'm showing today I definitely want to invest in another pair in the future there is only one little thing about these that's why these are not my number one <laughs> shoes um, the only thing is here uh, like the sides could get a bit uncomfortable and they could start digging on the side of your feet uh, so sometimes like I remember in Paris I had to put a plaster just here um, on the actually on the inner side of the shoe this side was digging <laughs> into my feet and I had to put a plaster okay next would have to be my Chanel Espadrilles yeah they're just one super flat shoe so after a while um, they become a bit uncomfortable um, like I'll, I will compare these to the Gucci Prince Downs you can see these are flat but they have a bit of a heel so your feet are not like completely flat my other pair of uh, Chanel Espadrilles they're uncomfortable because they're not the right size and Chanel Espadrilles do not come in um, half sizes so they don't have 37 and a half 38 and a half and so on um but yeah with the other ones i had to wear them like um like loafers like this um but these are fine i mean these fit fine yeah but they're not the most comfortable pair of flats <laughs> but they're really cute <laughs> and as you might have guessed my least comfortable pair of shoes are these and i'm really sad to say this but these are my least comfortable shoes these i would definitely not wear if i'm planning to walk a lot <laughs> all day long um, these would not be the shoes that's because they're quite heavy and as I mentioned, the leather is very hard as well. Uh, maybe after a while, the leather could soften up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see if you like the look of these. And with all Fendi sneakers, they're all leather. Um, so definitely like go half size up and it will make them a bit more comfortable <laughs> if they're bigger. Okay, my camera died so I had to stop filming for a bit. Hopefully the setting is still like the same and the colors are not changed. Yeah, anyway, so I think I covered the most important topics. I covered sizing and comfort. Next, I want to quickly talk about the price. I'll start from the most expensive ones being the Fendi sneakers. These are the most expensive ones, uh, 550 pounds. Next are my Chanel Espadrilles, which were £495. These are limited edition in the tweet, so they're a bit more expensive. I think the leather version is 450 but mine were £495. Next are my Gucci Prince Downs, and these, I think they've gone up in price, to be honest. And I can't remember how much I paid exactly, but I think they were... 500, not 500, 460 or 470 pounds. And these are the cheapest and the most comfortable ones, uh, the Louis Vuitton sneakers, 450 pounds. All right, so next on my phone is wear and tear. Actually, this is a very important category. Maybe I should have mentioned that first. All right, wear and tear. I will start with these. All right, so these I have worn for a few weeks now. I've worn them probably five or six times, I would say. The first thing I want to mention is these are white sneakers. Of course, you have to be careful with these. They're leather, so you have to be careful not to stain them. I make sure I wipe these 
every time I come back home I wipe them with a baby wipe <laughs> um, so they stay white and fresh and beautiful so yeah if you're buying a white pair of sneakers no matter what brands Gucci or Fendi or whatever you have to be careful because they're white sneakers and they get dirty quicker I've noticed one thing that really annoys me about these okay so can you guys see that this bit here and this bit here this is like the outer part of the shoe it's like flat and then the inner sides can you guys see they creased a little bit and they also like I can't explain it they like they like lift it slightly um, I don't know if it's showing why doesn't it just stay flat like the other side can you guys see how there is like space here and then this side it looks flat anyway I'll try to insert clips and show you what I mean but this is the only thing that's actually annoying me a little bit okay these I have worn the most out of maybe out of the new shoes let's leave the prints down because I've worn them the most but uh, these the Chanel Espadrilles and the Fendi sneakers are my newest pairs of shoes so these I have worn the most out of the three and these are perfect like I don't see any creasing the only thing that I do is like I wipe every time I get home I wipe uh, with a baby wipe I wipe the white part of the shoe the white sole so it doesn't get dirty I'm sorry that I'm showing you <laughs> the dirty bottom of the shoes I actually hate touching shoes and like I have to go and like wash my hands like 10 times after this video because <laughs> it's disgusting um, but there is no other way for me to show you them so I have to touch the dirty bottoms of the shoes <laughs> so, oh yeah I've noticed one thing as well like can you see the writing on the inside it um, it's rubbing off so this will eventually disappear but that's the only thing for now <laughs> So with Chanel Espadrilles, you have to be extremely careful not to go out uh, in the rain. You don't want to get caught in the rain with these because you will destroy them. Other than that, for now, I've worn them quite a few times since I bought them. Again, I always check the weather, if it's going to rain today or not, uh, before I decide if I should wear these or not. So this is the only thing with Chanel Espadrilles you want to be careful. Uh, but yeah, I have worn them as you can see. I think if you have the leather ones, um, the leather will crease a little bit here on the front, um, like the Gucci print styles, but I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but with the tweeds, you can't really see any creasing or anything, so yeah, these are fine for now. Last are my most worn shoes that I've had these um, the longest. <laughs> so uh, these I've had for probably a year and a half, I would say. So first I have to mention something very, very important. Mine are in the textile version. If I had these in the leather version, these would have been uh, probably completely destroyed and looking awful. Um, I've noticed that the leather prints down crease a lot because they are very soft leather. So the leather here creases a lot and it looks ugly and I really love the black prints downs. I'd love to get a leather pair of prints downs but I'm really really scared because they crease a lot and after a while they look disgusting like you wear them five times and they are so creased and yeah they don't look nice so if you're considering getting prints downs seriously guys consider getting them in the um, fabric version because uh, these you can't tell they're creased yeah the leather inside although it's like white like bait not white it's like beige leather it's not stained again i wipe the inside because these are flat shoes and they're open at the back uh, so that goes in <laughs> and you want to wipe them inside after you wear them if you wear them for a month straight the bottom of the shoe will become horrible and they will look very very worn out and you don't want to destroy the shoes because um, the bottom is leather as well and you will ruin them. You will destroy the shoes much quicker if you don't bring this to the cobbler to put protective sole. Um, so yeah, that's what I did and yeah, they look fine now. They don't wear out that quick 
and uh, yeah I'm really happy with them you can see some wear here at the front and at the back as well I'm really surprised like these look amazing considering how much I've worn these these look excellent and last, uh, hopefully I'm not forgetting a major, very important uh, topic, guys. Um, so if I've missed something, make sure you leave me a comment and I'll try to reply if I've missed anything that you're interested about. Um, and so yeah, last I want to quickly mention and rank my shoes. I want to rank them from my top ones, like my most favorite pair, the ones that I get most compliments on and the ones that I think are the most stunning ones and uh, yeah uh, so I would start from my this will be really hard because I love all these shoes so fourth place oh my god this is so hard okay I think I know which ones LV then three Two, only because of Donald Duck, like, come on, Donald is so cute. <laughs> and I'm such a baby. And my most favorite pair is the Fendi sneakers. I just, you know, I'm a huge Fendi lover. Fendi will always be my favorite brand. There is something special about Fendi, so I had to, these had to be my number ones. Um, yeah, you know how much I love Fendi, and these I find so beautiful, and yeah, I love them, love, love, love them. It will be very interesting to hear which ones you think are the most beautiful shoes. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to hear how you rank them in the comment section, that would be very interesting to read and also see if you are a Fendi lover, Gucci lover, Chanel lover or Louis Vuitton fan. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let me know down in the comment section down below. Again, if I've missed something, make sure you comment. I will try to reply to all your comments. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.